Hi everyone, this video is going to be a tutorial on how to set up and connect a on-premises data gateway to Power Automate, although it's still relevant for the rest of the Power Platform. First, a quick intro onto what a data gateway actually is. In simple terms, an on-premises data gateway is a software tool that allows you to securely connect cloud-based applications like Microsoft Power Automate or Power Apps to data sources that are located in your own premises such as databases or files stored locally. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Right, so the first thing we want to do is go to this page here on Microsoft's website. I'll leave a link in the description for that. Uh, then we want to click download standard gateway right here and just let that download. And once it's downloaded, just run the file and you should see this screen right here. Right, so just accept the terms and click install and just wait for it to install. It can take quite some time to install, so just give it a few minutes. Right, now you need to put your email in. Make sure you use the one linked to the Power Platform. So for me, it will be my Microsoft developer account. And then it should ask you to sign in. So just go through the steps as you normally would sign in. You want to register a new gateway to this computer. Um, I'm just going to name my gateway data gateway one for simplicity. Now you want to put in an eight digit code uh, just make sure to keep note of this in case you need to ever recover your gateway. Now click configure and it should be complete and ready to use. Right, so there we go, your on-premise data gateway should be fully installed and configured. Now all we need to do is just see if we can test the connection. So I'm going to load up Power Automate. I'll be using the cloud and not the desktop application. We want to check that Power Automate has actually registered our connection. If you put the correct email address down, it should pick it up. So let's just go down to more, click discover all and navigate down to find data gateways. So as you can see, there's our data gateway we created. I've got two because I've already made one previously. Right, so let's test this connection. So go into my floors, click new floors, then we want to build an instant cloud floor. Let's name our floor data gateway test. Right, so let's create an action. The connector I'm going to use will be file system as it requires a data gateway to be set up. And it's a good example of Power Automate connecting to your local file system. Right, as you can see, we've got some details to fill in. So I'm just going to name our connection as data gateway test. Um, I'm going to set the root folder, which in my case would just be the typical parent folder to all my files. Um, so these are just the files and the folders that I want the connection to access. We then want to keep Windows authentication on. Our username is actually our domain, then the name of the Windows account. If you don't know what this is, what we can do is open command prompt, then type in who am I, whatever pops up will be your username, so just copy this and paste it into our connection. I'm just going to hide the domain just for this example. Your password should be what you log in to your Windows account with. If you don't have one set, you might have to set one as I'm not sure it will let you proceed without one. Our gateway will be the one we created, which was data gateway one. So just click create. Right now, the moment of truth, does this actually work? If this isn't set up properly, you may get an error for this part, seeing like your connection isn't set up 
or you don't have access to these files. Uh, if it is set up correctly and you followed along, you should be able to see a list of your folders and files, and that means that the connection's working and the data gateway is configured correctly. So if you like this video, uh, please do me a favor and just click like and subscribe and just drop me a comment if anything didn't go correctly or you're struggling with anything and I'll see if I can help you in that regard. Other than that, thanks for watching.